Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another episode of 5 Bookish Facts. Today we're going to be taking a look at 5 facts about Hunter S. Thompson. This episode was requested by Mindy's Book Journey. And as always, if you would like to request an author, a series, a book, etc. to have an episode on, please do let me know in the comments and I will get to it as soon as possible. But without further ado, 5 facts about Hunter S. Thompson. So Hunter S. Thompson actually missed his high school graduation because he was in jail. He was 17 at the time and just a couple of weeks earlier he'd been charged as an accessory to robbery and sentenced to 60 days in jail. Fact number two, in order to get a kind of feel for the way it felt to write certain novels, he used to type out sections and even whole books out by his typewriter. So a big favourite of his was F. Scott Fitzgerald and he used to type out pages of The Great Gatsby. Thompson actually said in an interview, he said, if you type out somebody's work, you learn a lot about it. Amazingly, it's like music. And from typing out parts of Faulkner, Hemingway, Fitzgerald, these were writers that were very big in my life and the lives of the people around me. So yeah, I wanted to learn from the best, I guess. Fact number three, in 1970, Thompson ran for Sheriff of Colorado. Now, he was actually going for the freak power vote. So he had various political tactics, including shaving all of his hair off so he could call his opponent, my long-haired opponent. He promised to eat mescaline while on duty, and he wanted to rename Aspen Fat City to deter greedheads, land rapers, and other human jackals from capitalizing on the name Aspen. Fact number four, Hunter S. Thompson once called Bill Murray up at three o'clock in the morning to pitch an idea for a new type of sport he'd had. So this sport was a combination between clay pigeon shooting and golf and basically one person would hit the golf ball and then another person would try and shoot the ball out of the sky. You can actually find a full transcript of this phone call online as well. I encourage you to check that out, it's weird. After his death, Hunter S. Thompson's ashes were fired from the top of a 150 foot tall tower, topped by a red fist holding some peyote, which was kind of a symbol of his gonzo style of journalism. So the celebrity guests included Jack Nicholson, Bill Murray, Josh Hartnett, Sean Penn, and Lyle Lovett, to whom Hunter S. Thompson once sold a Cadillac Eldorado, and also, of course, Johnny Depp, who actually paid for the entire ceremony. So there you have it. Those are five facts about Hunter S. Thompson. Don't forget to let me know in the comments who you would like to see a future episode of. And in the meantime, please do hit that subscribe button for more bookish videos and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.